This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad today. And today is August the 31st. It's Monday. This is the first day of the week, and it's the last day of the month. And it is 11.10 a.m. Dam chapter 1, verse 7 says, The Lord is good, giving protection in times of trouble. And he knows who trusts him. Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for what he has done. And then you'll experience God's peace that passes anything you could ever understand. And his peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you are the creator of all things. You've made the seasons. You've made night and day. You've made the light. You've made the animals, the fish in the sea, birds in the air. And you made mankind. And Lord, with all of your creation, everything was made to perfection. And I know I keep saying that over and over again. And you've had patience beyond understanding for mankind. And Lord, I ask that you continue to have that patience. Be with each of us, Lord, and direct us all. And you are the great physician. When there's uh, health issues that we can always rely on you, we can call on you. And you have doctors in place when needed. And when the people are sick, even with this COVID-19 or with other illnesses like diabetes, cancer, and broken bones and everything like that, we know that the doctors are going to be there that can, uh, can handle it. And you put the right ones in place for us. And when people die to this life, you give us eternal life if we've made the decision to uh, accept you as our Lord and Savior. And we are so thankful, Lord, that you have everything, everything in place for your people. Help us, Lord, to do everything according to your will. Help us to do everything that we can and in all that we do to bring glory to you because you are the only one that is worthy of our glory and our praise. And I ask, Lord, that you be with us these last few days of the summer holidays. Be with all of the ones who are making the decisions for restarting school and for transportation for the, the children and the youth. We want them all to be kept safe, Lord. We don't want them touched by this virus. We don't want them to have to go through the sickness. And we don't want their parents to have to go through loss if they do get uh, sick. I just ask, Lord, that you take control of everything. Put people in charge where they need to be. And give us all the faith that we need to, uh, to trust that everything is going to be okay because so many people are so anxious over it. And give us the words that we can speak encouragement to them when uh, there are problems coming up. We love you, Lord. And we give you all praise, glory, and honor in everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Luke 10, 27 says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. It's so important to uh, love your neighbor. It's really important to love God. And God can see what's in your heart, and he knows what your motivation is in everything that you do. So we, we need to uh, love each other because of who they are, they're created by God. The weather network today is 21 degrees out. It's really quite nice out. It's going to be up to 25, and it's, um, it's not going to be terribly humid today, but for some reason, uh, anyone who has arthritis, it's kicking up. It's going to be mainly sunny today and well into the afternoon. There will be a little bit of cloud, but not a whole lot. The low tonight is going to be 18 degrees, and it's going to be clear tonight. 
So maybe it'll be a good night to go and look up at the stars and thank God for his creation. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all that you do, and he will show you which path to take. The reports for today, actually, they don't look too bad. Sarnia Lampton is, uh, is no change. The confirmed cases is 338, so that's zero increase. The number of deaths is still at 25, and confirmed recovered is 311. So that means there's only two active cases across the Sarnia Lampton area. We were at that point once before. Only this time we want those two to go down to zero instead of jumping back up to 15 or 16. The Ontario report, the uh, confirmed case is 42,309. That's 114 more than yesterday. The number of deaths is only up by one. It's 2,811. And the confirmed recovered is uh, 38,277. There are 49 in the hospital, of which 18 are in ICU and 19, or 9 are on a ventilator. So the uh, active cases is 1,221 across Ontario. So that number is staying down. Uh, it's a little higher than yesterday, but uh, it's not a major jump. What we need to watch is when kids do get back into school. Um, we'll see how things go at that point. Across Canada, there's 127,940 confirmed cases. That's an increase of 267. So that number is coming down too. The number of deaths is up to 9,117 due to COVID-19. And they confirmed recovered 113,664. There are 5,159 active cases across Canada. That's all the provinces and territories. In the U.S., they have uh, 2.5 million active cases. There's 187,224 that have died of COVID-19. And across the world, there was uh, an additional 220 1,607 cases um, that, from yesterday, and the number of deaths is over 850,000 now, and there's 6.8 million active cases across the world. When you hear numbers like that, it's, it's kind of uh, difficult not to get really concerned about it, but you know, God is in control of all things, and we need to remember that. And he will take care of this. Our scripture today is Hebrews chapter 7. And we're going to go through fifth chapter, or verses 15 to 22. Starting at verse 15, it says, This change has been made very clear since a different priest, who is like Melchizedek, has appeared. Jesus became a priest, not by meeting the physical requirements of belonging to the tribe of Levi, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. And the psalmist pointed this out when he prophesied, You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Yes, the old requirement about the priesthood was set aside because it was weak and useless. For the law never made anything perfect. But now we have confidence in a better hope through which we draw near to God. This new system was established with a solemn oath. Aaron's descendants became priests without such an oath. But there was an oath regarding Jesus. For God said to him, The Lord has taken an oath and will not break his vow. You are a priest forever. Because of this oath, Jesus is the one who guarantees this better covenant with God. Thank you, Lord, for your word. 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 to 6 says, I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them. Intercede on their behalf. Give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked with godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God, our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. 
For there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and mankind. And that's the man, Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. Let's pray. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being with us at all times, for making a way for each of us. You tell us that if we draw near to you, that you will draw near to us. I ask, Lord, that you be ever so close to each and every one of us. Direct our paths. Speak to us, Lord. Help us to speak to you more often. Help us to be in better communication with you and not just think that everything is just going to roll right along because you want to have a relationship with us. That's what uh, Christianity is all about, is a relationship between your creation and you. And you created us to love you, to give you praise, to give you worship. Help us to do your will, Lord, and not our will. We are just human. We have, uh, we have faults. We have weaknesses. The only one that didn't was your son, Jesus. And he's the one that we try to follow. He's the one that we try to uh, copy. He's the one we want to become more and more like. But we need to have help in doing that. Because although the spirit is willing, quite often the flesh is weak. Give us the strength that we need, Lord, the physical strength, the emotional strength, the mental strength, so that we can follow your way, so we, we can do as you want us to do and be in your will at all times. We give you all praise, glory, and honor, Lord, and we want to bring you glory in everything that we do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Ephesians 4, 3 says you are joined together with peace through the Spirit, so make every effort to continue in this way. We need to rely on the Word of God, and I know I say that all the time, but you have to know the Word of God in order to rely on it. And it's easy to get. If you don't have the physical book in your possession, then you've probably got uh, some electronics that you can call on, uh, go into Google, Go into Bible Gateway. You can get any version that you want, and you can read it. I do the uh, daily Bible reading every day, and um, it's usually several chapters so that you can get through the Bible in a year. So if you don't feel like reading it yourself, then listen to it. It's always available to you. It's not like it was in days of old. Isaiah 41.10 says, Don't worry because I am with you. Don't be afraid, because I am your God. I will make you strong. I will help you. I will support you with my right hand that saves you. And that's a promise from God. And you know, God doesn't lie. If he says it, it's so. So God is with you and will continue to be with you. So reach out to him. Hang on. Hang on tight. And continue to pray for each other. So many people are so anxious right now because they're so worried about their children going to school. So many of them can't be going to school because um, they have health issues. That it would be too high of a risk for them to be out with a bunch of other kids. And it, it could be hazardous to the health. It could be deadly. So there's more uh, causes of stress. Treat people with love with compassion, with understanding, and empathize with them. Don't just make judgments. Unless you're walking the same path that they're walking, you have no idea what they're going through. So stop and think before you speak. And be kind when you do speak. Be gentle. And whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. It tells us that in Scripture, 1 Corinthians 10.31. And realize that you cannot do it on your own. But you know, with the power of Christ with you, you can do anything at all. Anything at all, as long as it's for the glory of God. And according to his will. And Zechariah 4, 6 says, You will not succeed by your own strength or by your own power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. God bless each and every one of you. And may God be with you until we meet again. 
And I would imagine towards the end of the week, there'll be other news reports from uh, municipal, provincial, and federal governments on what's going to be taking place. I was checking through, there wasn't anything on this one. There was stuff that I had already reported, but I'm not going to keep reporting it. And there's um, reports that uh, have nothing to do with COVID-19, and this is about the updates on COVID-19. So God bless each of you, and we shall meet again. <laughs>